Hello, it's me, Norm, again from MyBeerQuest.com. And it's a, it's a nice, uh, sunny uh, Sunday afternoon here in uh, Southern California. And I decided to have something for nice for uh, a nice hot day, a uh, nice sunny day. It's not that hot. Um, which, you know, so I this one actually kind of uh, really interests me because I've never heard of the style. It's kind of a, I've heard, it's two styles that I've heard of that I guess are combined. <laughs> it's an unfiltered Weissen Pills which is a uh, German style. Um, but uh, I've heard of Weissenbeers, I've heard of Pilsners, but I've never heard of them together. But this is uh, this comes from a brewery I, I've had a, a lot of uh, really good beers from. They're, um, I think they're all German style beers, is the, uh, all the beers I've had. They're here in the United States, down by the uh, Gulf Shore. Uh, and this, that brings up something... Uh, Something else uh, here. This is actually uh, for a good cause. It's called uh, Save Our Shore by Albita Beer. S-O-S. And uh, it's, uh, in case you don't know what they mean by that, uh, you've probably been living under a rock because uh, you know, last, uh, last spring it was, uh, almost a year ago, the... Uh, uh, the Deepwater Horizon blew up, which was a oil um, oil rig, and basically leaving uh, the oil well uncapped and just continuing to spew, spew oil into the Louisiana uh, Gulf, the Gulf of Mexico, just uh, ruined the whole environment there. The whole uh, and it's still going on. You know, a lot of people say, "Well, that was almost a year ago," but it, even if they say they cap the the well, there's still millions upon millions of gallons of oil out there. And uh, this, uh, when you buy one of these, 75 cents uh, goes towards the um, the cause of uh, helping uh, clean it up, which uh, just a you know. A little bit compared to how much they really need, because um, it's destroying everybody's lives out there. Uh, the the whole uh, the whole situation. Um, really sad story. And so uh, I'm I've never had anything bad by this uh, uh, brewery. Uh, the both the Bison beers and the have uh, and the Pilsner beers beers aren't really my favorite, uh, but I can't wait to try. It. So, because it does sound intriguing, it's a seven percent alcohol per volume. That gives me an excuse to use uh, this glass I hardly ever use. Whoa! I like the uh, I like the look of it. Got this weird backlight thing going on. Oh, it's the sun. Wow. Actually getting a really good aroma from it. Not like uh, the normal Pilsners I'm used to. Mm. Really looks nice. Mm. Got nothing but foam in that. Um... If you're not familiar with the brewery, um, you know I have uh, talked about this brewery before. I've talked about their um, their Turbo Dog, which is a very good beer. The Andy Gator. Um, so yeah, okay. I think the foam has gone down because I didn't really get the feel for the beer with that mouth of foam. Mm. Much better. Wow, that's actually a really good Pilsner. I'm not really a normally a Pilsner fan, but this is actually a pretty good one. It's got a uh, for for its style. It's actually 
really good. It's not boring like uh, most I find most pillow service to be. It actually has a really uh, nice, you know, well balanced, uh, rounded uh, taste to it. Hmm. Nice day outside. I'm just gonna go sit and drink this out out in the backyard because it's uh, really nice. Hmm. So that's SOS Save Our Shore. Um, a charitable pilsner. That's what it says. From Albita. It's, it's about five bucks. Um, I got this at Vendom Liquor uh, right around the corner here. Not too far from me. Um, yeah, it's uh, and it goes to a good cause. And remember, uh, just remember, you know, keep on um, praying for uh, everybody in the, uh, the Gulf states there. And, uh, uh, you know, just keep them in your thoughts. You know, just know that things aren't going to be uh, okay for them for a while. Cheers. Enjoy your beer.